Ask about me, boy, I'm good. Look, homie just threw me a pack. Look, no, he ain't. So the first thing you wanna do is you need to find where you want the transition to happen. I want it to happen right here. I'll show you real quick how it looks right now. It looks like that, pretty boring, but now we're gonna add the transition. Basically the first thing you wanna do is press on the clip you want to transition to, hold up and drag two layers up, so like this so we have an empty space right here. Then go to fast frame, press ctrl R and press on the arrow and press freeze frame. That will basically create a still picture. And then you need to make so we all only can see these red lines, so basically just drag it shorter and make it to the edge right there. Then you basically, from the transition point, you need to go 25 frames to the left. So and drag this copy and make it to the start right there and ends where uh, where the transition ends so right here then basically what you will do is you will right click on the clip and press new compound clip press create hover over it go to the color tab and we will mask out uh, the character basically go to the circle with four dots and press on this pencil thing and basically just click around the character like this be pretty accurate the transition will just look much smoother then Basically just click and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So now I'm done, I connected them at the end. I go to notes if you just see, just press on notes, right click anywhere, press add off open and connect it like this and it should become transparent like this. Then go to the edit tab again and right click on the clip again and press new compound clip, press create. What you will do now is you will go down in the description, in the description you should find the drive folder and in that Google drive folder you should find a overlay called paper, basically just download it and drag it in like this, it will look like this and basically what you will do now is basically go to open effects and show the shop, the uh, shadow, the original one and drag it on this and then go to inspector, go to effects and you can play around with the drop angle and the strength I used to drag it up and then the distance something like this you can copy my exact settings if you think this looks really good but I think I'm done with this but what you will do now is you will make so that the paper always starts where this like copy starts and ends where the copy ends so like this and then you will drag it over with both of the clips right click and create a new compound clip and it will become a one clip like this and what you will do now is just hover over it and go to the color tab and what you will do now is you will go to the circle with four dots again press on this pencil and basically what you will do is you will mask it out really inaccurate like like paper so something like this so something like this just connected at the end right on the notes again and add off output connect it and it will look like this you can put all the play around with this label and something like this Bad, but I think this looks pretty good. Now we can go back to edit tab, right click again, new compound clip, then go drag in a fusion shadow again on it and play around with settings. So something like this I think looks good. We can play it through. I think uh, that looks pretty good. What you will do now is you will basically keyframe it. How we will do that is press on it. Go to the video tab and uh, go to the fast frame, you can see it. Uh, press on this keyframe up here so everything is keyframe and zoom out a bit and drag the position uh, down to the left so we can't see it. So something like this and then go to the end, keyframe it and set everything to zero, zero and it will look like this and basically. And then basically what you need to do is you need to right click on the compact clip and press Read and carve and zoom in. After you can see this R, press on the R and make sure the only thing ticked is read and speed. I'll tick everything else. Uh, read and speed, like that. Press on this line that should appear, drag it down to about 70%. You so looks good. And that will basically create this. Really clean. And that's basically it for today's video. As you see, guys, it looks really clean. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, dropping a sub, and yeah, comment tutorial this, and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!